In this video, we're going to go over three major musts and demands. Our underlying beliefs impact how we feel and behave, and these three core musts are at the core of all of them. It's important to acknowledge that at some level, the core beliefs we hold are true. Love and approval are a good thing. Succeeding, being treated well, and finding ideal solutions are also good things. However, what makes these beliefs irrational and leads to emotional and behavioral consequences is the demand that these expectations are met. We all express ourselves differently, but the irrational beliefs that upset us can be placed under three major headings. Each of these core beliefs contain an absolute must or demand. Now we're going to go over each major must and some of the core beliefs that exist as a result. Major must number one, approval. I must be approved of by others to be worthy. So the need that exists behind this is the need for acceptance and belonging. And the fear that exists is fear of judgment or rejection. And this is what the demands sound like. I expect myself to perform well and win approval from all significant others at all times. And if not, I am a failure, unworthy, and deserve to suffer. So the symptoms of this must include placing unrealistic expectations on yourself, over concern with what other people think, achievement and popularity determining your sense of self-worth, being self-critical and lacking self-acceptance. Emotional consequences include depression, feeling not good enough, being unable to express or embrace your true self, anxiety, worry about what others think, or worry about being judged. Low confidence, feeling bad about yourself, feeling that others' disapproval means that you are bad or that you can't be yourself. Behavioral consequences include risk avoidance for fear of being judged for failing or being different. Shyness for fear of being embarrassed. Procrastination for fear of failure, judgment, or risk unassertiveness for fear of rejection or criticism, or even workaholism in order to gain approval. So the rational belief that could replace this must would sound like this. I have value as a human being simply by being my authentic self and a desired love only from those who appreciate me and recognize the good in me. So again, there are a number of different false beliefs that can exist within this one must. And so we'll go over several. The first one is the belief that I need love and approval from everybody. The consequence of this is stifling of your true self, lack of self-love and lack of self-respect. The way that you would counteract this false belief is by focusing on the truth that contradicts this false belief. So for instance, what matters most is self-acceptance, authenticity, and unconditional love from only the most significant others. Another part of that truth is that everyone has different tastes and preferences, and it is impossible to be loved by everybody. By doing what others want or expect in order to gain approval, you are giving away your power to choose how you want to live your life. Trying too hard to be approved of has the opposite effect, and others will not respect you. And finally, it may not be pleasant when other people do not like you, but the truth is that it isn't fatal, and it doesn't really make a difference in your life. So the next false belief is, I must be successful, intelligent, and competent in all areas. And the consequence of this false belief is preoccupation with providing evidence of your own adequacy at all times, even if it means looking competent when you're not. But the truth and what you need to remind yourself is that it is totally natural to be better at some things than others. It's okay to not be good at something. You can improve any ability, including your intelligence, if you put effort into that improvement. Being afraid of being bad at something can actually hold you back from trying new things that you're not already good at.
failure is a necessary part of growth and improvement. And focusing too much on being successful in order to oppress others means you are taking time and energy away from things that you might actually care more about. And here's another false belief. I must be dependent on other people because they are stronger than I am and I can't depend on myself. So the consequence of this is that it leads to unhealthy relationships that burden others and creates attachment based on need rather than genuine love. Doing only what you need help to do actually limits your potential because in most cases, your need to depend on others actually holds you back from doing more. The truth that you can affirm to yourself to counteract this core belief includes telling yourself that it is true that we all need others to help us learn and to support us during challenging situations. However, support from others is meant to be temporary and only as needed with the goal of helping us get to a place where we are able to care for ourselves. Many people are perfectly capable of doing things on their own, but they continue to tell themselves they need others to help them because they're afraid to let go of control of the other person. The more you continue to allow others to do things for you, the less skill you will develop and the lower your confidence will be. If you depend on others to feel safe and confident, there will inevitably be a time they cannot be there for you, which actually makes you less safe and confident than you would be if you were able to rely on yourself. The next false belief is that my past has made me who I am and will continue to define my future. The consequence is continuing to live patterns that do not serve you and failure to reach your potential due to unwillingness to take responsibility for your own life. And so the truth that counteracts this false belief that you can remind yourself if you tend to struggle with this one is that when you were younger, you did not understand what was happening and therefore it impacted your behavior automatically. However, now you have the ability to think about your past and present differently and choose to act differently. When you were a child, you had no control over what happened in your life. However, as an adult, you do have control over the decisions that you make. The past is simply a memory in your mind and has absolutely no way of literally influencing your future. If you are continuing to experience situations that existed in your past that you do not want, you have the option to change them. It is true that your past experiences influenced your belief system, behaviors, and situations that you are experiencing in your life today. But now that you know you have a choice, all of those things can be changed going forward.